the first step to draw on our butterfly is to create the body of the butterfly in the center of our canvas, which is going to center our butterfly in the end. Now the body consists of three circular parts, uh, the head, which is um, a circle, and then the middle part of the body, which is an oval shape, and then the bottom part of the body, which is kind of like an oblong um, oval. And then you want to draw two antennas at the top of the head. I'm using a simple pencil here to sketch in the butterfly, um, which makes it easy to erase on right on canvas, and that way you can fix your butterfly as you go. Now you're going to draw in two arc shapes on either side of the body, and this is going to be the top part of our butterfly's wings. Next, you're going to draw in the center part of the wing on either side of the butterfly by just drawing two horizontal lines. And finally, you're going to draw two diagonal lines at the bottom part of the body. Now we're going to fill in our butterfly wings and we're going to start at the top and we're just going to draw like a squiggly line from the top to the center part of our butterfly line. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Now finally, you're going to draw in two more diagonal lines um, at the center, at the end of the center, and then we're just going to draw in um, semicircles to um, connect both of those diagonal lines together. If you're looking to make a symmetrical butterfly, this is the time to make sure both sides of your butterfly look equal. You can take a step back from your canvas or even flip it upside down to find areas that you want to fix. Now that the overall shape of the but butterfly is drawn, we're now going to draw in the beautiful patterns on the wings of our monarch. So simply draw in four teardrop shapes or flower petal shapes in the center of every wing. So here you want to try to make them as similar in size as possible. Now you're going to draw in seven lines inside each wing. Each line should be roughly the same distance from each other. And don't worry if your butterfly isn't working out the first time you draw it. Uh, just take your time, be gentle with yourself, and also don't be afraid to use your eraser to fix as you go. I pretty much used my entire eraser on the back of my pencil when I was practicing this butterfly. A little segue into that is a quote my dad used to tell me when I was growing up, which is, No one is perfect. That is why pencils have erasers. I absolutely love that quote, and I tell it to myself all the time. So remember, don't be afraid to use that eraser. And it's okay if you don't get something right away and it takes you a few tries. The most important thing is to be gentle on yourself, to keep at it, and you will get it. Once you've added in your lines, you're going to create a bubble-like border at the end of each wing. You're going to leave about an inch between the border and the edge of your wing. So you're going to do this for all four wings. When I was experimenting and trying to figure out a way to break down this butterfly drawing into an easy step-by-step -step process anyone can follow, I noticed it was much easier to draw both wings together in unison. I found if I drew each wing separately, like finishing one wing completely and then moving on to the next, it was a little more challenging and um, it often was harder to get it to look more uh, look symmetrical. Now we've drawn most of our butterfly design and now we're going to be filling it in with our pencil. So first we're going to fill in the bottom um, horizontal line that separates the, the top from the bottom portion of the wing. And then we're going to fill in the rest of the border basically where we, in the last step where we made our bubble border, um, we had left that inch between the border and the edge of the wing. We're just gonna fill that now in with pencil. So if you're looking to fill in this butterfly with color pencils or even markers, you can go ahead and grab your black and fill this part in. Instead of using the pencil here, you would fill it in with your black colored pencil or colored marker. And if you're looking to paint this butterfly in, um, I actually initially created this drawing as a part of my uh, how to paint a butterfly tutorial, which I'm going to link in the description below. So the top few sections of the monarch butterfly wings are a little bit different than the bottom ones um, and they're a little bit smaller. So we're just going to be creating little ovals um, in the top three and then um, a second design which is kind of like a reverse um, letter D. And then we're going to be repeating that on the other side of the wing too. So they're just small little circles and then here they're going to be, um, this, this side is going to look like the letter D. 
And then in the, the next step, we're going to be filling in around it and then you'll, you'll see the pattern um, um, emerge. So here we're just going to be filling in around our circles and our reverse letter Ds with our pencil. And then you can see the pattern emerge like our beautiful butterfly. Now in the top empty portion of the wing, I just draw little circles um, on both sides of the wing and then I'm going to be filling it in like the rest with my pencil around all the circles. And again, if you're using a colored pencil or marker, you just simply fill in around your circles with your black marker or black colored pencil. All right, so for the final part of our butterfly wings, we're just gonna be thickening all the lines in between all the sections that we created, including that teardrop shape. Now, if you're using um, your colored pencils or uh, marker, you'd use your black here. And uh, this is just going to emphasize all the sections in the butterfly and give us that really nice separation between um, all that, that, be and that beautiful pattern. So now that we've drawn in our butterfly wings, those are done and we're just now gonna fill in our butterfly body. So the first thing is just going to fill out the top head with um, our pencil, leaving just two, a teardrop shape of white and that's gonna be the reflection of light hitting it. And that's gonna be, you're gonna do that for the middle portion of the body as well. And then for the top, uh, the bottom, the very bottom portion, that oblong um, oval, we're just going to uh, draw in some horizontal curved lines and then lightly fill it in with our pencil. And in terms of color pencil and markers, you would use your black here to fill in the, the, the head, the middle body and these horizontal curved lines. And then when we're going to be shading it in, in a couple of um, seconds, you can use a gray um, marker or a gray colored pencil to fill in or shade the bottom part uh, like I'm doing here with the pencil. You'd use that gray to shade it in. And now our butterfly drawing is complete. You can either leave it as is or you can fill it in with any color your heart desires from orange, blue, pink, um, any color you can think of. Um, or if you're looking to learn how to paint in your butterfly with acrylics, I'm going to link a tutorial in the description below and you can check that out.